What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Katya. Today's lesson is going to be very short and I hope useful. We're going to learn seven synonyms to replace the adjective strange. As you may know, I love making videos on synonyms because I think it's a great idea not to overuse the same word again and again, and especially when taking an English exam. So grab your vocabulary notebook, open your section for adjectives, and let's get going. So let's begin. The first adjective on my list today that you can use instead of strange is bizarre. Bizarre. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, I don't believe him. It's such a bizarre story. And one more simple sentence, it's so bizarre what happened to the plane. I'm talking about a TV show I'm watching right now and I'm completely hooked. It's called Manifest and I'm going to talk about it in our next English bit. And now let's move on to the second option that you can go for and it's funny. You might be surprised because we all know that funny means humorous. But this adjective has other meanings. For example, it can also mean feeling a little sick. For example, I feel a little bit funny today, which means I feel a little bit sick. And one more meaning apart from humorous and sick is strange. For example, this smoothie looks funny. Why is it so blue? And one more example, he smiled at me in a funny way. Number three, we can also say odd. Let's put it into a simple sentence. There is something odd about him, but I don't know what exactly yet. Number four, outlandish. This adjective has a negative connotation. The first example is quite an outlandish outfit for a job interview. And one more example here, the plot is getting more and more outlandish. Now I'm completely lost. And before we continue and learn more synonyms, just a super quick reminder, if you like today's lesson, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and remember to subscribe to English Bits if you haven't subscribed yet and you like my videos. Thank you very much. Number five, peculiar. It means different from the usual or normal. The first example, Jim had some strange opinions on some things. He was a most peculiar fellow. So most is commonly used in front of peculiar. And in this case, most means very. And most peculiar, very peculiar. And one more example, this pasta, has a peculiar taste. And tomorrow to go, number six, uncanny. It means strange and difficult to explain. Two examples, as usual, the first one, the pen pals had never met before, but they looked so alike. It was uncanny. And one more example here, I have an uncanny feeling that we had met before. And last but not least, number seven, weird. You can also use this adjective instead of strange. The first example, that's weird. The door is wide open and there is no one inside. And the last simple sentence for today, he's a nice guy, a bit weird though. So guys, that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed today's short lesson and learned some synonyms for strange. And if you know more synonyms that I haven't mentioned in today's video, 
please share them with me in the comments down below. And of course, if you learned something new today, please don't forget to like today's lesson, to subscribe to English Vids, and remember that you can find me on Instagram, where I teach English every day through a quiz, music, and TV shows. Thank you for joining me today. Have a lovely Sunday. And next week, there will be two lessons. On Wednesday, a short, and on Sunday, our long lesson in which I'm going to talk about my favorite TV shows and documentaries and movies that I have seen this year. So see you next week. Have a lovely day. Ciao for now.